I wasn't gonna do a video on this, but it's driving me fucking crazy. <sighs> okay, here we go. So, we live in a law of attraction based universe, meaning we give off energy, we're energetic beings, and we give off a frequency, and we attract like frequency events, things to us, okay? So, and I say this with my background of getting sick all the time growing up, okay? I had my appendix out, I had uh, myocarditis when I was in New York for the first time, like five, six, seven years ago, um, which was basically like heart attack, um, and um, heart attack, um, uh, not enzymes, but the, um, the, the thing in my body that, tri that, when they do t blood tests that show, um, you know, heart attack. I, maybe they are enzymes, whatever. The, the indicator is that there was, um, you know, heart temporary damage and it fully healed, but, you know, um, had that. Had liver problems um, uh, after that. Um, and just a lot of just illness, headaches, um, hypochondriac growing up. Um, and I grew up with a Western medicine doctor um, as a mother who introduced me to all of the possible diseases of the body. Um, so from a very young age, I developed a very um, acute fear of getting sick, of, of getting these illnesses. Um, so with that fear and with you know, to be honest, being a gay little boy trying to hide who he fucking was in a straight world, um, there was a lot of dis-ease in my body, um, hence attracting a lot of dis-ease in my experience, in my life, in my body. Um, and doing the work of alleviating that and raising my energy, um, I, I, I haven't gotten sick in like three years. Um, and because of how that experience, I see the, the hysteria for what it is, you know, regarding what's going on now in, in society. People, it's funny that people think we're separate. It's funny that people think we can catch so, uh, something or they think they can they can protect themselves with a little flimsy fucking mask for a dollar, which are acceptable to wear in these grocery stores that require a mask so no one catches it. Like, it's fucking stupid. Um, it's funny that people think <laughs> that if they're a match to disease, that a mass is going to stop it. I love, I fucking love people who are on the New York City streets. They have their mask on, they pull it down, they're smoking their, you know, probably third, fourth cigarette of the day. And they're still wearing a mask. Or they have a big bag of McDonald's, you know, with their, with their mask on. Oh, I'm protected. <sighs> Look, I'm not saying it's not real that the genetic material that, you know, the whole COVID strand isn't real. Of course it's real, but if you're not a match to it, you're not a match to it. Your immune system, boop, it's nothing. People don't understand how our immune system works. And if we, as a collective society, had even just a little fucking inkling of curiosity, you know, towards how our immune systems actually work versus into the news and what must we do next? What, what should we do? What, what do we have to follow? You know, like, I take a look at ourselves, guys. Like, life is not this fucking serious. It's not that serious. And, you know, maybe this triggers the fuck out of you because you're living in a world that's very serious. And I'm not saying some instances in life aren't super emotional or, you know, aren't serious for a minute, but then you take a step back and you realize that it's really not that big of a deal. We're all souls here in human bodies just having an experience. Um, and if you haven't figured that out yet, you will soon. <laughs> Because 2020, man, it's just the beginning um, of this big um, awakening that's going on through this pandemic. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that because it's been really pissing me off.